we put the C major scale in the Awesome Shield library so that you can use it. It stores the frequency of each note in the C major scale. You can use it like this. Each value in the C major array is the frequency of that note. So we can use a value from the C major array as the input into the buzzer turn on function. Back to our light theremin sketch. So far, we've used the variable frequency to set the pitch of the buzzer. This means we get a whole bunch of different sounds. Let's use the C major array instead of the frequency variable. That way, we'll only play notes from the C major scale, so our theremin will sound a lot more musical. Remember, to use the C major array, we're going to need an index, which will choose which note in the array we want to use. I'm going to replace this frequency variable with a variable called index. I should delete frequency anywhere else I've used it. Try mapping the light sensor input to a range of 0 to 7 and set the index equal to that mapped value. So the output range should be 0 to 7 instead of 0 to 25,000. Then use the C major array and the index variable as the input for the buzzer turn on function. That way you can get the buzzer to play a note from the C major array. And the index variable will tell it which note to play. See if you can get this working in your code. It could take a few tries. When you're done, or you're really stuck, go to the next video.